plan to curb reckless driving hits a roadblock. Drivers crashed into decorative planters on Milwaukee's east side, causing a mess. 12 News' Kendall Keyes is live at North and Bartlett tonight. Kendall, the east side business improvement district, or BID, installed those planters between the bike lane and the street. Joyce to try to protect bicyclists from cars, but look over at these planters. After someone hit them, there's concrete, car pieces and dirt scattered in the street and the bike lane. Now the business improvement district acknowledged the problem, but says it stands by their planters. Cars are smashing. It's just a disaster. Into decorative flower planters along North Avenue on Milwaukee's east side. Valvoline assistant manager Rolando Davis says he hears a big kaboom and watches the constant crashes. A semi truck just hit one yesterday and busted his radiator. Broken pieces of concrete, car parts, and planting dirt make a mess across the busy roadway and bike lanes. People come down the street speed, hit them, or they pull out from the store and hit them. Eastside Business Improvement District Executive Director David Smolian says it installed dozens of the planters last summer as a traffic calming measure. To provide an added layer of protection for bicyclists and pedestrians. But bicyclist Charlie Hansen says when they're busted like this, his ride to work is more dangerous than before. It's definitely scary because, you know, you got to weave in and out of traffic and, you know, people be driving these days, so you might get hit. Obviously, as you can look around, it's not deterring anybody from reckless oh. driving. Does the bid regret putting these planters in the streets? No, I don't believe so. I, I believe that from the beginning, um, our intention uh, was to make things safer. As for the mess. It takes so long. We end up coming out here and pick it up ourselves, but it just makes the street look bad. Smolian says they're working on it. We're going to clean up the mess and we're going to continue to keep a very close eye on these planters. People just trying to help and beautify, but Kendall, whose responsibility is it to clean up the mess? Joyce, the bid director, tells me when they installed these planters, they agreed to take care of maintenance, so it's on them to clean it up, not the city's Department of Public Works. He tells me he met with a contractor today and is working on getting the mess cleaned up, but he tells me the planters, they're here to stay for now, at least until they come up with a more permanent solution. Kevin Key is reporting live on Milwaukee's east side. Thank you.